get a timeout here for an injured player, and that's Jamar Chase, who is in some obvious discomfort right now. We'll check on his status when we get back. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Second and ten. Looking to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll set up to throw. There's a short one caught by Uzama, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll run on first down. Mixon, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. And this game's over. I'm oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason. And got his man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 78 yards. And the Niners are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat a two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams play you for the pass. Go ahead and run and let your linemen surge and fire out. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw out of his hands quickly to Higgins. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now Burrow on first down. Forced out to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go bounds after taking it a little further down inside. The 40. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review of this being inside two minutes. After the play, the run of the field is reversed. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Dumps it off to Mixon. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Now Burrow loses the football. And this is going to be 49er football. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been won for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions.